my dental office. Well, folks, what we're depicting here is an 1885 uh, dentist office. In fact, the museum has three dentist offices. I don't know how many we need. This one here uh, is one of two we have actually set up. The other one we hope to set up in the future, but I don't know how many you need, like I said. So anyway, back in 1885, it was uh, uh, 50 cents to have your teeth worked on if you wanted ethyl chloride. Now, ethyl chloride uh, is a uh, freezes the area you wanted to work in and you have to work pretty doggone fast before before you thaw out and with this dental drill this treadle drill and if you did not want the ethyl chloride that would numb and deaden the area for a short time you would um, could save a quarter so I tell the schoolboys how tough they are because they could um, pocket that quarter and buy about three to four months of candy think about it if you can get your teeth fixed for a quarter, uh, you certainly can buy a heck of a lot of candy equal to, to that. And so anyway, um, when, I was, when I was about uh, 14 years old living in Nebraska, uh, I had a cavity and I went in to the dentist and uh, uh, he fixed my cavity but he also drilled in the middle of my eye tooth, right in the middle of the doggone tooth. Where you don't get cavities, you get that between the teeth, right? So anyway, um, put a gold filling in there, which is still there today. And uh, my mom was furious. She read him the riot act. And he said, well, I thought he'd be popular in school with that gold in his teeth. Yeah, I can see you're grinning. Um, anyway, it's still there. He said, well, maybe I can help. Your son liked this dental engine, this treadle drill uh, that was sitting here um, in the window of his office. And my mom, before he even finished the sentence, walked over and grabbed it and walked out. So uh, anyway, that's where this drill came from, little town of 800 in Nebraska. Over here, we have the lab, the dental lab. And uh, what I want to point out is the, the false teeth there on the counter. Those false teeth are from a Los Angeles outdoor toilet hole. Try and figure out how they might have fallen down in that, uh, in that uh, toilet. But anyway, what's interesting is that all false teeth till the Second World War, all false teeth were rubber. Plastics came out in the late 1930s and got widespread in the Second World War, but uh, all the teeth before that uh, were rubber and because Bakelite that came out in 1907, 1908, something like that, uh, was too brittle and you might break, you might break your choppers. So uh, they do have the porcelain teeth in them, in the rubber. And the colors are back there and the jars to, to help uh, with that uh, uh, coloring those dentures. So anyway, um, and this drill is out of, out of the uh, Telluride, uh, dental, uh, Telluride Dental Office. So anyway, as we leave and head out for another exhibit, uh, I want to point out that you could buy uh, you could buy cocaine over the counter uh, in the drugstore. And so anyway, uh, things have changed a lot, haven't they? And we'll go to the next exhibit outside here, another building.